So we gathered in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. So good morning. Good morning. So we're celebrating uh, the feast of uh, Saint Thomas the Apostle uh, this morning, and uh, the uh, the mass uh, this morning is being offered for um, Tom uh, Mayer uh, and Wilma Ogella. So we are saying the Mass for their souls today. And so let us place ourselves before the Lord, ask him to be with us and to listen to all the prayers we have in our hearts today. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of, of the, Thomas the Apostle so that we may always be sustained by his intercession and believing may have life in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, whom Thomas acknowledged as Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are follow, fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capestone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. The responsorial psalm. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out, Go out to, to all the world, world and tell, tell the good news. news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness for us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to thee, O Lord. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into his nail and into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Praise Lord God. Jesus Christ. So the, uh, 
so Thomas is called Didymus because uh, he could be mistaken for a twin brother of Jesus. Uh, Didymus means twin. And so that was his nickname, was uh, the twin, because he looked so much like uh, Jesus. And uh, so that's where uh, that name comes from. Uh, many people are quite surprised um, when I tell them that there was, um, that um, the faith has been in India ever since Thomas the Apostle. Because um, Thomas uh, went to India, he went to Kerala in uh, the southwest. Uh, down down the bottom. So India had two uh, great men who um, uh, brought the faith uh, to India. Uh, Tom, Thomas, the, the apostle whom we're celebrating today, so uh, he went uh, relatively shortly after uh, uh, Jesus' death and resurrection. And then the other uh, man was uh, Francis Xavier, um, a Portuguese man and because uh, Goa was the Portuguese part of India and uh, so he, um, uh, he went in the 1600s went to Goa and evangelized uh, the people and so, the, um, and so in India you get many um, uh, Christians and they all have Portuguese names De Silva, Costa uh, and that it's because of uh, Francis Xavier and uh, so in the, in the south, um, Thomas never uh, evangelized the Brahmin. And so even though it became a Catholic state, uh, Kerala, it was still ruled by the Hindus because uh, Thomas only uh, evangelized uh, the poor people. And so, uh, and so there's Christians there. Uh, they belong to um, the Eastern Rite, the Silo, uh, Silo Merabar Rite and the uh, Syro uh, Malacca right, there's two. And when they come north in India to work, they have to change to the Latin right. And uh, so the, um, but they're, uh, uh, they're more Eastern uh, than uh, the Latin right. Uh, so in today's gospel, we see um, uh, Jesus is very kind to Thomas. The, um, <clears throat> he welcomes his doubt and helps him to learn. Uh, he doesn't uh, chide him or, you know, uh, say, oh, you know you're know, you stupid or anything. Uh, so he, he works with Thomas uh, to give him what he, uh, he needs to understand. And uh, so, the, um, so he's very kind to him. And it shows uh, how remarkable the leader Jesus was, um, that the way he handles people, and uh, he doesn't dismiss them or anything. Uh, but he works with them to bring them to a new understanding, to a new faith. And so that's what happened with Thomas. Uh, he comes to see Jesus in a totally different way. And so he says those famous words, my Lord and my God. And uh, so and, um, in, in Ireland, um, uh, part of the, uh, when we, uh, after the consecration, uh, when we say the mystery of faith, one of the, in Ireland, one of the responses uh, is "My Lord and my God." That's uh, one of the official responses in Ireland, and uh, so the um, it's a very famous uh, part, and it's a, a great confession. It's one of the the first uh, confessions of faith in uh, Jesus, "My Lord and my God," and so um, uh, and so it's good to echo that with Thomas. And so let us pray this morning. We pray for the people of Kerala in southwest in India where St. Thomas established his mission and planted the church in India. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those suffering from the virus in India. May they contain it quickly. We pray to the Lord. No, Lord, no, hear no, our no. prayer. We pray for the Herodans, the untouchables of the caste system. May they know that the Lord never casts them aside, but always become, welcomes them to his table and his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. No, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
May the example and prayers of St. Thomas strengthen the faith of Christians who are finding it difficult to believe, especially among the young. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May all who believe without saying be greatly blessed by the Lord this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And we uh, pray for the souls of uh, Tom Mayer, Major and uh, Wilma O'Gella. And so, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Let the perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls, the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of this church. And let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, oh, sorry, wrong one. we render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us as we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And let us lift up our hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on the apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now and for ages unending, and with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with our heart, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant to be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. And so let us pretend we're in Ireland today and uh, say the, uh, the Irish um, mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, as we truly receive in this sacrament the body of your own be only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that we may recognize him with Thomas the Apostle by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. There was a, a guy in Ireland who was driving along, and uh, he drove into a ditch. And so he went and got this farmer, and the farmer brought along uh, a horse and yoked him up to the car. And, uh, so, the, uh, and so he said to the horse, uh, pull Buster, pull. Nothing. Pull Nelly, pull. Nothing. Pull Betsy, pull. Nothing. And he said, okay, come on buddy, pull. And the horse pulled and pulled the car out. And the guy, the owner of the car, said to the guy, why did you uh, call him all those other names first? And he says, well, you see, he's blind. And if he thought he was here on his own, he wouldn't pull at all. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> let us ask the Lord to bless us now, be with us, and to be especially mindful of our families and friends. And the Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.